Real Talk Guys. Have you ever seen a ghost or a UFO? Did you ever sense something bad is about to happen or maybe something good? And what you imagined in that moment really happened? Do you believe in Bigfoot or Ness, the monster of Loch Ness? Do you truly believe there is more in this world than what you can touch with your hands or see with your own eyes? Then this little podcast might be the right one for you. I'm no scientist, nor a doctor. No. I'm just curious. Hi. My name is Daniel. Welcome to my podcast. Many years ago, a Russian submarine detected six unknown objects in the southern Pacific. These objects moved directly towards the submarine with a speed of over 260 miles per hour. They were disc-shaped and moved in a specific formation. When the submarine crew noticed them, they slowed down a bit. And to their surprise, the objects also slowed down. The commander of the submarine gave the order to surface. And as they breached the surface, suddenly those USOs came out of the water and flew away. Man, what a crazy encounter. Imagine being in a submarine and find yourself in a situation like this. It must have been really scary for the crew. And if this really happened, and if those USOs came from outer space and not from Earth, how advanced their technology must be traveling with high speed underwater, then shoot out of the water and fly away. Crazy. I wonder why they chose to travel underwater in the first place. Maybe they move underwater so they cannot be seen. I mean, the chance of being seen is higher above the water, so it's not a bad idea to travel like this. Or maybe they explore and study the seas. Who knows? Some people think that aliens have underwater bases. Big motherships where they operate from. It's not necessarily what I believe, but hey, nothing is impossible, right? In 1982, Russian Navy divers went on a research mission in Lake Baikal in Siberia. At some point, the divers noticed a few humanoid creatures that watched them. Whoa. The creatures appeared to wear some sort of helmet and were about 9 feet tall. They were dressed in tight silver suits. The divers could not detect any kind of breathing device or oxygen tanks. The soldiers decided to try to catch one of these things, which is in my opinion not a good idea. Imagine facing a group of 9 feet tall alien-like creatures underwater. Man, I would be scared to death and the last thing I'd think about would be try to catch one of them. You don't know if they're armed or can harm you in any way, but Russians are known to be brave. And so they move closer to those unknown creatures. But as you can imagine, they couldn't catch one. When the creatures noticed that they got attacked, of course they reacted. Some strange force catapulted the divers to the surface. The force was so strong, three of the divers died and four of them were seriously injured. Man, another crazy story, don't you think? Do you think this really happened? Put yourself in the position of one of the divers. Would you decide to try to catch such a thing if you saw it? I wouldn't, I can tell you that. The truth is, there is more of those underwater UFO or USO sightings. Could it be that alien visitors operate from underwater and send their ships from there to explore a world? Maybe they are interested in all the animals in our seas too. There's so many interesting things to explore down there. Imagine, with technology like theirs, they can reach places down there that we can only dream of. If aliens are visiting a planet, it totally makes sense to me that they could have underwater bases in the sea. A good friend of mine interviewed an old lady who was over 90 years old at that point. She saw an unknown object once, which flew in the sky and then suddenly came down and dove into the water and disappeared. All that happened when the lady was very young, so it's long ago, and nobody seemed to believe her back then. Friends, I'm interested in your opinion on that topic. If you want to talk to me about it, 
send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram account is observe the world. Or send me a message on Facebook. I put a link in the description. And before I end this episode, I want to answer a question that came in lately. I was asked what my opinion on the hollow earth theory is. Well, it's the same opinion that I have when it comes to the flat earth theory. I think it's nonsense. The same goes for reptiloid shapeshifters that try to take over the world. But the hollow earth theory makes more sense to me than the flat earth theory, I give you that. And guys, if you want to believe in those theories, that's absolutely fine. We all have different opinions on certain topics and that's good. We don't have to agree with each other every time. In my private life, I'm surrounded by a lot of people that laugh about all the things I study and believe in like UFO sightings, ghosts, alien abductions, Bigfoot and all that kind of stuff. And I don't care. Because what I do makes me happy. And if it makes you happy, go for it. As always, thank you so much for listening. And wherever you are, have a great day. Hear you next time.